Well, thank you all for coming. It's fabulous to see you all here, especially from so many uh, different places. Uh, we have people here from uh, the UK, uh, from France, from the Netherlands, from China, from the Middle East, and some people have even come from as far away as San Francisco. <laughs> So as you probably know, only 18 months ago, I was one of those people coming down from San Francisco, uh, brand new to the oil industry, really didn't know anything about it. And uh, I do remember looking out over the uh, beam pumps all going in an oil field and thinking, is that premium or unleaded that's coming out of there? <laughs> and uh, it's been a long, a long journey from that, obviously, to where we are today. And uh, a lot of thanks are due to many of the people that are in the room for educating us, bringing as to this point from a concept of wouldn't it be cool to get solar, to get more oil, to an actual working system like the one you can see behind you. The first people we have to thank are Berry Petroleum. Now it's one thing to have the vision to say, you know, we can actually reduce our energy costs by using solar. It's a whole other thing to have the courage to actually do something about it. And so I'd like to thank uh, Tim Crawford, he's out here somewhere, because this, uh, this wouldn't have been possible without him. So our next uh, step on our education uh, came from TJ Cross, who actually taught us the difference between uh, a solar project and an oil field steam generator. Turned out to be two completely different things. And uh, as you walk around here today, uh, those of you in the oil industry will recognize almost every piece of equipment. The PLC, the valves, the tanks, the vessels, even the two inch carbon steel pipe, all of it is standard oil field fare. And uh, it's thanks to TJ Cross that uh, we were able to actually deploy something in a way that can be used in an oil field. Now, it's one thing having a design, it's a whole other thing having a working system. And another local company, uh, PCL, uh, are our general contractors. And the thing which is most amazing to me, and you can see it on the time lapse video here, is that the system you see behind you went from bare dirt to operational in six weeks. That's a phenomenal achievement, and a lot of that is due to PCLs being our uh, general contractor there. But probably the biggest uh, learning we did uh, came from uh, the people I can see in the audience here. I see many of our prospective customers sitting out there. And um, you didn't make our lives easy. You didn't say, oh, that's a wonderful solar thing, we'll have 10. Uh, <laughs> You challenged us. You, you know, you, it had to be more robust. Uh, it had to be much more suitable for the environment than our original ideas. Uh, and of course, it had to be much cheaper. But uh, that is the old saying go, goes, what doesn't kill you makes you stronger. Through all of that challenging and effort to refine and refine and refine, I think we eventually uh, wound up at a, at a pretty good place with a, a working system. So what was the result of all that collaboration between uh, yourselves, TJ Cross, PCL. And basically, if we're going to produce the difficult barrels, and as we all know, that's, that's what's getting left now, we're going to have to do it much more economically and with less environmental impact. And so, so solar enhanced oil recovery does exactly that. You're looking at steam for less than steam produced using natural gas. And equally importantly, the price is fixed for the 30 year life of the system. And of course, solar doesn't have any emissions, at least not here on the planet anyway. And once it's installed and you get enough of it out there in your oil field, it actually increases your proven reserves. That sounds counterintuitive, but of course, proven reserves are the amount of oil that can economically be recovered from an oil field. So if you move the economics, you can extract more oil, cheaper steam, more oil. Each acre of solar field that gets built generates five man years of, of job, essentially, uh, here locally. And a very large percentage of what you see here was manufactured locally from the, uh, the coatings on the pipes to the glass on the greenhouse. If we did just 20% of the EUR energy need with solar, that would be 25,000 jobs here in Kern County. So many companies in our business, the clean tech business, will talk about uh, the triple bottom line. Uh, and there they're referring to the financial bottom line, employee well-being, and environmental stewardship. You know, 21Z represents a different triple bottom line. It's more oil, more money, and more jobs.